Did you know that 86% of users don't like creating and remembering new passwords to interact with you? I'm surprised the number's that low. I'd have figured it was 100%. Not only that, but 54% of users will quit altogether if you ask them to fill out a form to create a new account just to sign into your app. All that time and effort you've spent attracting them to your app, and more than half of them would walk away before they even start using it. And it gets even worse. You've gotten them to the front door of your app. They've actually signed up for a new username and password. And when they come back, of course they can't remember their username or password. Guess what? A whopping 92% of them will walk away when this happens, instead of going through the reset process. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and I'm here today to talk about Sign In with Google, allowing your users to simply use what they know, trusting that their login is secure. So you're thinking, this is all very good, but you've implemented sign-in already. You might even have implemented sign-in using Google. Either way, I've got great news for you. The UX has improved greatly. Let me step you through it. But first, let me show you what it used to be like. There were a lot of steps, a lot of steps. And the user experience just wasn't the greatest. We did make some mistakes in our design. Sorry about that. Well, here's the good news. That's a thing of the past. With the new APIs that first shipped in Google Play Services 8.3, we've greatly streamlined it. First you pick that you want to sign in with Google. Note the nifty new Alphabet branding. We'll show more of that in a second. Then your users are asked to pick the account, and then they're in your app. So easy it's not even worth shooting a video about it, right? But I've started, so I'll finish. Earlier I spoke about the new graphics. There's a set of branding guidelines about them at this URL. Here you can find the standard button that I've shown in both light and dark themes. You can download graphics for it in disabled, focused, normal, and pressed modes, and the basic elements are there so that you can customize it in all kinds of DPI, including HDPI, LDPI, all the way up to XXX HDPI. And don't worry, this XXX is safe for work. And that's it for this dev bite. Stay tuned to the Android Developers channel on YouTube for more, including how you can write all the code to achieve this kind of sign in and allowing your users to share their identity with your server. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and you're going to go build better apps.